Guernsey is a beautiful island in the English Channel, with many places to visit, each with its own charm and attraction. You can get to Guernsey using a regular ferry service from Jersey, France, and the UK. Or, you can take a flight from a host of UK cities in as little as 30 minutes. This place is a paradise for singles, couples, and families alike. It has the perfect mix of adventure, romance, and entertainment that will make your trip unforgettable. Remember to subscribe for more content. Let's embark on the top 10 places to visit while here. St. Peter Port St. Peter Port is the capital and main port of Guernsey, the second largest of the Channel Islands in the English Channel. St. Peter Port has views out to neighboring islands, Ham and Sark. It is a charming town with cobbled streets, historic buildings, and scenic views of the sea and the neighboring islands. St. Peter Port is also a great place for shopping and dining, as it has a variety of shops, cafes, restaurants, and bars to suit every taste. You can enjoy and purchase local products here such as Guernsey butter, Guernsey jumpers, or even get yourself the popular fruit loaf. The Little Chapel This is a unique and charming place of worship, built by a French monk in the early 20th century. The chapel is decorated with pebbles, shells, broken china, and glass, creating a mosaic effect. The chapel is said to be the smallest consecrated church in the world, and it has three versions, the original one that was too small for a bishop to enter, the second one that was demolished by the monk himself, and the third one that you can see today. Castle Coronet This is a medieval fortress that has been guarding the harbour of St. Peter Port for over 800 years. You can explore the castle's five museums, for gardens, and enjoy the daily firing of the noonday gun. You can also learn about the castle's history, from its origins as a rocky island to its role in the English Civil War and the German occupation. Visiting this castle will make you feel like you are traveling back in time and witnessing the events that shaped Guernsey's history. Oatville House This is the former home of Victor Hugo, the famous French writer who lived in exile in Guernsey from 1856 to 1870. You can see how Hugo decorated his house with furniture, artworks, and objects from his travels, as well as his personal library and study. You can also learn about Hugo's life and works, such as Les Miserables and The Hunchback of Notre Dame, which he wrote while living in Guernsey. The Oatville House is open to the public on guided tours in July and August on appointment only. A visit to this house will give you a glimpse into the mind of a genius and his passion for literature. Liu Island this is a small island that is connected to Guernsey by a causeway that is only accessible during low tide. The island is a nature reserve that hosts a variety of wildlife, such as birds, seals, and bats. You can also see the ruins of a 12th century priory that was once a place of pilgrimage and refuge. Venus Pool is a natural rock pool that is filled with seawater, a great place for anyone who enjoys swimming feeling adventurous and close to nature. Fort Grey is a coastal fortification that was built in 1804 to defend Guernsey from French invasion during the Napoleonic Wars and was named after General Charles Earl Grey. He was Guernsey's governor 1797-1807. Fort Grey is also known as the Cup and Saucer because of its shape and is painted white as a mariner's seamark beacon. The fort houses a shipwreck museum that displays artifacts from various shipwrecks that occurred around Guernsey's coast over the centuries. You can also climb to the top of the fort and enjoy panoramic views of the sea and the nearby islands. This is a fascinating fort because it tells about Guernsey's maritime history and its dangers. Candy Gardens these are Victorian-era gardens that were established in 1894. They offer a tranquil and relaxing spot to enjoy nature. You can admire the colorful flowers, exotic plants, 
statues, and fountains, as well as the stunning views of the harbor and the islands beyond. It's free admission to the gardens and they are open all day long, you can also visit the Guernsey Museum and Art Gallery, which is located in the gardens. These gardens are situated five minutes walk from the center of St. Peter Port. Whilst there you can enjoy some refreshments at Café Victoria. Sark Sark is a small island in the English Channel, near Guernsey. This is one of the few places in the world where cars are banned. People travel by bicycle, horse, or tractor. Sark is also known for its beautiful scenery, dark skies, and historic buildings. It is a self-governing dependency of Guernsey, with its own parliament and laws and a permanent population of around 500 residents. Sark has no street lights, therefore has very low light pollution making it excellent for stargazing. Sark is one of the most fascinating places to visit if you are looking for a peaceful and picturesque getaway. Shell Beach Shell Beach is a stunning beach on the north coast of Ham, one of the smaller islands near Guernsey. The beach is famous for its fine white sand, which is made up of millions of tiny shells. The beach is also ideal for swimming, sunbathing, and relaxing, as it has clear blue water and a gentle slope. Here, there's plenty of space for everyone and is a perfect beach for families. You can also enjoy the views of the other islands and the French coast from the beach. A lot more activities too can be had here, kayaking, windsurfing, rock pooling and even sailing. The Shell Beach gives a feel of a tropical paradise. German Underground Hospital The German Underground Hospital is a complex of tunnels that were built by the Germans during the occupation of Guernsey in World War II. The tunnels were used as a hospital, a storage facility, and a shelter for the German troops. The German underground hospital and ammunition store happens to be the largest structural reminder of the German occupation in existence in the Channel Islands. You can walk through the tunnels and see the rooms, equipment, and signs that were left behind by the Germans. This place is very intriguing and shows one how the war affected Guernsey and its people. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of my new uploads. Thank you for watching.